to uh, the, the one of the things that I've been meaning to 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 to, to talk about um, is that I, I started saying how Sisters of Freedom was started, but I didn't actually say it really started uh, when the Million Women Rise invited me to go and speak uh, at their um, march. And I and Michelle Daly, Michelle, put your hand, uh, we spoke to, I don't know, 6,000 women, uh, 6,000 people, I don't think they were all women, at Trafalgar Square about violence against disabled women. And from there, we just, I think, from, for me, I, I, I discovered that, you know, there is that gap. But following that, a couple of weeks ago, I and Michelle went to the premiere of a film called Margarita with a Straw, and that brings it back to India, because I was blown away by this film and the, the sort of, the, the brave intentions of Sonali Bose, who was the editor, and even more wonderful, it was based a lot on the life of somebody that both of us knew, Malini Chip, who didn't come tonight. <laughs> she, was, um, she was invited. Um, and um, Michelle, do you want to come in and people have heard my voice? And you are a very good speaker, huh? Right. Uh, very quickly about this film is... It is truly international, intersectional, because it was about a girl, a, a young girl, who had cerebral palsy um, in India, and uh, she got a scholarship, or her parents uh, sent her off to New York to study, um, mostly, I think, because the access in Mumbai wasn't so good for colleges. And... <laughs> And there she sort of went into a self-exploration, self-discovery of sexuality. She discovered she was bi. She met a blind girl at a protest. She got into a, a, a whole lot of things, you know. I mean, it's wonderful to go into a film about disability and sexuality and have the words, fuck the police, in one of the scenes, you know. Um, and But it was all about... And then it, it talked about her relationship with her mother and her parents. And it's the whole kind of um, politics, the sexuality, the relationships of being disabled, being a woman who is full of curiosity is there. And it was just um, a great, great film. And, um, and I'm going to... Michelle, do come in. <laughs> Okay. I just want to say I'm really excited when um, Elena told me um, Becky is coming to speak. I was like, wow. She says, we've got this young woman. She's articulate. She knows her stuff. I said, all right, all right, you've sold enough. Yeah. <laughs> but when, when, I, when I met Becky, I was like, you know what? She's, she's good. You know, it, this, this is exciting. We've got some fresh blood coming through. Um, and I think it's, 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 it's having Becky on stage is fantastic. I think we do need some new blood. It's the young generation that we need to be working on to, to come through the doors and give new ideas because your experiences are so different from our experiences, so different from my experiences. You've been mainstreamed, and the fact that you've said that you know, you, this is the first time you've been in the room with disabled people says a lot because my experience was I was running away from disabled people when, when I was 18 because I had it, my experience was segregated in, in, a, in a special school. And I think there's a lot that we can learn. And I think we need to make sure we tie Becky now, right, in a different way. There's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot that we can learn from the new generation of young people. And Becky's experience doesn't really reflect every disabled person out there. Because many young disabled people don't have that opportunity of, to have been to mainstream school, to have this experience that people like Ruth, who, who have campaigned long and hard before myself, 
for disabled people to have what Becky wants. Becky is the dream that we wanted when we think about young people's experiences, what we, we might have not had the opportunity to achieve what Becky wanted, but the fact that we can see the fruit of it is fantastic. And what we want to do really is to nurture what Becky's got so she can make it better for the generation after her. And I think there is so much that we need to be able to find a way by working with people like Becky and other young people to say, how do we bring the new blood in? How do we work with new blood? Because their experiences, and we have to be realistic, is different from our experiences. When we were growing up, I talked for myself, there was no such thing as accessible toilets. You had to plan your day um, when you left your home, um, whether you drunk, what time you drunk, because there's no such thing as being able to do things like that. There was no such thing as accessible um, buses, no such thing as drop curbs, not roofs, not in the head. Um, there was a lot more logistics in how you planned your day for just doing day-to-day -day things. For Becky, that's going to be like, I don't really understand that. If I want to get on a bus, I get on a bus, I can sneak out my front door. Yeah, but that was not a reality for many disabled people. Um, and I keep saying that. I, I, I want to see Becky at more things, and I, and I think we can learn, learn from people like Becky. But also, I think another thing that's important about these things, I think, Ellie, you touched on it. You know, we're, we're, we've got social media, and, you know, this is a great way to reach people who haven't been here today. And I think we're talking about domestic violence against disabled people. I think there's so many voices that couldn't come here who are being abused in their room, and they're being abused for a number of different reasons, and they may not know about the supports that are out there, um, people who are refugees or fleeing domestic, you know, fleeing violence from their countries, uh, or people, even people who don't have status in this country, they're having to live in certain conditions. Um, we, I was talking to um, Lanny um, at the back earlier on, is how do we reach the voices that we haven't, um, that we, we, we don't know about? How do we reach the voices that may not even know about our groups? Um, it's important that we find ways and, and, and using certain technology or, and we say technology, not everybody has internet access. People are living underground in, underground in different ways. Um, for me, it's how do we reach those voices? How do we reach certain people? Um, not everybody has the opportunities that we have in many ways. People could define us as the privileged disabled people. Um, we may not, we are, you know, I won't define myself as privileged, but in many ways we could be for people who can't access what we have access to. Um, and I think this is opening the discussion. Um, it's great that we're being live streamed because maybe someone can record it and, and, and send it off to other people and say, look, there's these disabled people out there. But also something also beautiful about today, if we've got different faces in the room, different colours in the room. When I started out um, many years back in the disabled people, it was often, um, yeah, we need, a, uh, we, need a, we need a black person on the table. That used to really annoy me. Um, so many times I say, I'm not coming, why should I? The fact that I've been invited because I'm a black disabled woman, well, hell no. You know, you invite me because I am who I am. Um, you know, it, these, are, these are important. You know, we need to think about how we structure certain things when we're speaking to people. Because I know for a fact that someone like Becky, who's young and been mainstream, she's not going to be having, come to the room because we need a black, young black disabled people around the table. It's not right to be inviting people in those ways. So there's lots of things I think we need to think about how we do things. And still I get invited. Can you come? Because even up to the day I was asked can, the other day, can you come to an event? Because um, we don't have any representation from certain groups. Yes, we do want to have diversity, but don't invite me just like that. You know, we should be thinking about it in different ways. Okay, I feel I'm rambling. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I think this is a great platform to, to get going, really. Thanks, Ellie, for organising it. Um, I mean, I, I entirely agree with what Michelle says. I think that the, the kind of 